Today, I want to talk to you about how do you know if you should get an A1C? Let's go ahead and dive into it today. Okay, I wanna give you three good indicators to let you know if you are in the market for or you are a good candidate to get the hemoglobin A1C test. Number one, are you alive? Number two, are you an adult? Number three, are you going to the doctor? So those are three great indicators to let you know that you should go ahead and get your A1C done. Yes, I know a lot of times that people will say, hey, you need to be at risk for a certain age. Or blah, blah, blah. Yes, those things are important, but I think it's very important for you to have a baseline level. So when I say a baseline level, it's great for you to know where you are if you are not at risk and you are an amazingly healthy level, okay? so that way you know what are your norms. You can see what's going on. I told you previously that hemoglobin A1C is a great indicator of diabetes and diabetes is usually coming on about seven to eight years prior to diagnosis. So with knowing that, it's like, okay, let's go ahead and be proactive instead of reactive. So let's get it done early, get yourself a baseline. In addition to what I've already told you, I want you to remember that anyone can be at risk, but these are some specific indicators to let you know that these people are especially at risk. If you notice that you are overweight and your BMI is a little higher than recommended, number two thing you wanna think about, are you sedentary? Where you are sitting down most of the day and you're doing this, okay? Here's another big one. Do you have family history? And the big thing with genetics is realizing that a lot of times it's more of the habits that are genetic than actually carrying on the disease that's genetic. We do the same thing that grandma, mama, auntie, everybody did before for us and we're taking in those same habits and repeating those things to put us at risk for those diseases. If you already have hypertension, high cholesterol or heart disease or some kind of cardiovascular condition, if you have liver disease, if you have PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome, if you are going through menopause, you find that a lot of times in menopause we gain a little bit of extra weight and that little bit of extra weight gain ends up putting us at risk for things like prediabetes and diabetes. If you have issues with sleep apnea, if you have history with a previous pregnancy of gestational diabetes or you've had larger than normal babies so babies that are eight nine ten pounds or more you want to make sure that you're getting your a1c check regularly so here's another great way to know if you should get your hemoglobin a1c done if you are having some symptoms of hyperglycemia with well, these symptoms are increased thirst increased urination extreme hunger like I am more hungry than usual. What's going on? Yeast infection, blurred vision or vision changes. Like I'm going to the eye doctor and they are really kicking up my prescription. Fatigue, like just being tired, exhausted and worn down. Slower wound healing. You cut yourself and you're like, why is it taking so long for this little bitty normal, regular everyday cut to heal? Headaches, especially after you've eaten or after you haven't eaten for a while. And then lastly, here's a big one. So you're not doing anything extra or intentional for weight change and your body is changing the weight and you're like, what's going on? So long story short, hemoglobin A1C is an amazing tool for you to figure out if you are at risk for or if you have diabetes or figuring out where your diabetes management is on the spectrum. No matter what, remember, if you are alive, <laughs> If you are going to the doctor and you're at the doctor and you're an adult, those are three great indicators for you to go ahead and get your hemoglobin A1C done because you wanna know your numbers whether you are at risk or not. So you can have a baseline or you can have a set point of where you are so you can know where you need to go. Click like, subscribe, do all the things so you can get more of this information coming at you and let me know in the comments, do you need to go ahead and get a hemoglobin A1C? If you do, say yes, give me a thumbs up and I will talk to you soon. Peace, bye.